オキドキ。Welcome to Nintendo Land, everybody, and what an amazing showing from Nintendo today. Like, it was just mind blowing what they did, and this, the, the amount of quantity and quality within this video presentation was something of just pure amazement. Better than E3 in my book, hands down, without a shadow of a doubt. More new stuff, nothing but new stuff, and which is great. It was just, it tempered all expectations. So, before we continue on,、uh, or before we start talking about random stuff, let's, let's get right to the point and right to the Uh, what made sense here in this in this direct. So, the direct started off with a character trailer, which I love it. I kind of called that last time. I said it's going to start with a character and end with a character. That's how they normally do it. But it started off in this creepy castle thing with Luigi just running through, and、uh, you kind of get a sense that this isn't a regular Mario game. This isn't Luigi's Mansion. This is something else. And if you saw any of the leaks ahead of time or any of the rumors, you knew right away what game this was going to、uh, pull a character from. It's Castlevania. Uh, Simon Belmont is going to join the cast in Super Smash Bros. A classic character, and probably the only classic character,、uh, or one of the only classic characters、uh, in Smash Bros. Ultimate. He makes a really good appearance here. I mean, the, the, the freaking cutscene is be- unbelievable, dude.、Um, it's dark, it's just, just, it's amazing what Nintendo comes up with, dude. This stuff is just, it looks so good. The character looks flushed out. He has a whip,、um, it's. He's got huge range with that whip. I love that.、Um, he's got projectiles to throw, like cross blades, axes, all k i n d of stuff. And it looks like they said you can freely move his whip around, his chain. And that's awesome. I think that's really dope.、Um, his stage, he comes with a stage,、uh, which is obviously cast- the castle in Castlevania, Dracula's Castle, I believe it is.、Um, and there's lots of enemies and stuff to attack there.、Uh, there's lots of like this Frankenstein, a werewolf,、uh, and stuff like that. And obviously, there's a boss in this stage, which is Dracula, his、uh, arch, ne- arch nemesis. And、uh, this is where they introduce the second character, which is, I believe, the.、Uh, his name is Richter. He is from Castlevania series. I'm not sure exactly what games.、Uh, but yeah, <laughs> Echo Fighter for Simon Belmont. Already, you, you, they just revealed Simon. They're going to throw out an Echo Fighter from that same game, which is awesome. And it's just it's an awesome stage. It just. Everything with it is really cool. You, they look like really fleshed out characters. They look really good to be coming up from their like old school sprites to now.、Uh, they really nailed the looks and everything is just, it fits so well. His final smash is super sweet as he puts you in a coffin and wraps you up and throws you up in the air and like explodes the coffin. It's something really sweet and Nintendo really took the time to、uh, dig into this. But one thing I noticed when I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness, another boss character. For, uh, the, for the stage, which means bosses are still coming back for the stages, and I don't know if that's going to like take away from potentially there being a story mode just because all the bosses are piled up on these stages, but I don't really think that matters at this point. And also, another thing that kind of scared me about the story mode is just they keep coming up with all these great cinematic trailers. I'm like, stop, Nintendo, you got to save these for the game. But nothing against the trailer, nothing against the trailer. It was absolutely phenomenal. Nintendo did a great job, and Simon looks good. I think I'm going to be using him a little bit. He looks, he looks interesting. He's a, very, he's a very different fighter than all the rest. He doesn't have a sword or blaster or punches. You know, he straight up uses his whip and other projectiles, and it's, really, it's a really new, unique experience for the Smash Bros. roster. And of course, as if one character wasn't enough, or two characters wasn't enough right off the bat, they decided to go with two more characters to show off to us, and it's two more Echo Fighters. So we have Simon Belmont as the new original fighter, we have Richter. As the first、uh, Echo Fighter of this video presentation. And then we go next to the second Echo Fighter being Krom. And this was kind of, you know, obvious. I didn't think about it until I was like, wait, who is this? Who is it? And I was like, oh, d- Krom, duh. He was planned to be released in Wii U, never happened. And he ended up being in Lucina's character trailer, getting absolutely demolished by Captain Falcon. And now he's here as a playable fighter. So I'm not really sure exactly who he echoes. You know, at first I thought, oh, yeah, it's Lucina and Marth. You know, he's an echo of an echo, pretty much. Um, but no, he has qualities of Ike because he has the same、uh, sword slash down for the B charge and、uh, the special charge. And it just, I don't know, he's like a mixture of all the Fire Emblem characters, which could be unique. You know, it could be different.、Um, and then my boy, my boy or girl, whatever it is, Dark Samus, is returning from、uh, being an assist trophy in Wii U. Obviously, Dark Samus comes from the Metroid Prime series. and... I really like this one. She looks different and feels different than just Samus, just an echo of Samus. She kind of floats, levitates, and her, all her weapons have this like plasma, phazon type of unique balance. And I love that. It looks. Dark Samus looks clean. 
clean. And um, they, they, they both Echo Fighters really good here. And uh, Sakurai wants to go further and says that you can actually pick to have those Echo Fighters um, within the same slot as the original fighter, or they can have their own individual slot. And just that little thing right there is just why <laughs> Sakurai is so good. Who needs that? But I want that. And that's why Sakurai just does the unexpected. Next, we jump up with stages. And the stages are really unique. You know, you have uh, the Great Bay Temple, the Living Room, uh, Guar Plain, uh, Figure 8 Circuit. All these uh, stages that are from classic... Uh, classic Smash games and they're all coming back uh, well not all of them most of them are coming back and it just it feels so right because each one is updated to look so good I mean I already thought they looked good and I kept telling myself dude the Wii U is full 1080 HD you know what, what else can you get and they still look good look at Brinstar Depths comes back with Kraid smacking the stage from the background again it's just little stuff like that Sakurai just dug in his bag and pulled out everything the summit with ice climbers you know everything magic can't comes back and it's just so great to see this. We see a look at Final Destination. We see 1 and 2. And, uh, well, not 1 and 2, but it's Final Destination of version Form 1 and then Form 2 as, like, when it gets darker and, you know, the stage transitions. We see New Donk City. And it's New Donk City Hall. And it looks so good. It just flies around the main central building. And Pauline and the musicians are there. It looks like you can collect them. And then eventually something will happen when you get them all. I guess they start playing the right song. I don't know. Something happens, but it's so cool. Uh... It, this is just amazing, dude. Uh, Sakurai goes crazy. The music comes back. Um, I think they said for stages, there was something like, oh my gosh, over 100, I think 103 stages, which is insane. Absolutely insane. And we know that there's more because later on in the direct, we see uh, a Monster Hunter assist trophy, but it seems to be on a Monster Hunter stage. But I have another theory for that, and I'll get back to that in a second. As far as music goes, music, we have like over 900 or something songs, it said, which is phenomenal dude that's just out of this world and it says you can listen to the songs you know with your switch power down or on sleep mode just put it in your bag put your headphones in you're good to go and that's something cool you can do that on the ds and i'm glad you could do that now uh amazing songs you as you guys may or may not know when i got this uh wii u version of smash bros i immediately went to the soundboard because i love listening to the music i love listening to the new remixes and everything that nintendo had to offer from the music um i don't know if i can do that now because they said if you listen to every song all the way through and all of the songs in the game it would take you about 26 27 28 hours to finish all that which is awesome nintendo 64 stages are back everything sakurai dug in his bag we also get a glimpse here of some uh, Pokemon and uh, stuff like that, uh, items and stuff. Uh, but one thing we get is battle modes. Battle modes is not really game modes, but it's stuff that you can do with your friends when you battle and stuff. There's HP uh, uh, battles again, there's stock, there's time. Something new you can do is you can save these presets so that when you go in with your friends, you don't have to reset, oh, we want stock, not time. You can save that so every time you go in, it's set to your three stock matches you may have with your friends or your HP battle you may have with your friends. It's set to custom you. Um, and uh, another thing, you pick your stage first, which means this helps to pick a character that better fits you for that stage, which is really cool. Um, there's lots of sudden death game modes, and there's even game modes uh, where you can create a party of characters, and you can go in and play with that party, and the last person, well, the person with the most characters at the end wins. Meaning, I could pick Mario, Luigi, Captain Falcon, uh, Marth, and they could all be on my team, and once, for instance, Mario dies, it would swap me with Captain Falcon. You know what I mean? And it continues to do that, and uh, that's so cool. There's a Final Smash, or, uh, yeah, Final Smash type of game mode, where you charge your Final Smash up, and you unleash uh, miniature versions of them, which are uh, the same thing, but just a little less powerful. And that's a cool match gameplay type of thing. I, I really like that. That was pretty cool. Uh, tourney mode comes back again, just like in Brawl, where you can create your own little tourney full of CPs if you want. Or, you know, you come down. Me and my friend uh, used to do this. Me and my friend Eli used to do this all the time, where you uh, it would come down to two characters, and I would pick one, and he would pick one, and then the winner would move up, and we'd have our own little tiny, like, stupid tournament together. And it was all, it was, it was a lot of fun. And there's, it's just so much jam-packed in here with items, new Pokemon, new items, um... We have like a sword that cuts you and can kill you, and a scythe that can kill you on contact, and a Lolan uh, executor Pokemon that splits the screen, uh, Abra that warps you to new locations, and it, it's so good, man. It is it's so good. There's so much stuff here. Uh, the assist trophies this time are some of the best. You have uh, Chef Kawasaki from Kirby. Um, he'll put you in a pot and cook you just like Kirby's uh, Smash Attack and Brawl. Uh, you'll have Knuckles. Uh, Ashley, unfortunately, Shovel Knight for you Shovel Knight fans uh, that did not get him in the game. At least he's an assist trophy. 
uh, and Waluigi, um, and you have uh, Zero from the Mega Man series. So lots of cool um, throwbacks and references to other games through these uh, assist trophies and stuff. And another thing was like an Iron Man mode, I noticed. And pretty much what this does is you pick uh, a character, and when you win, I think that character is crossed out. And the person who has the most wins... Uh, you know, wins. And I, this was an iron. This was a thing created by fans a long time ago. Me and my friend tried it, and we stayed up all night. It takes a while, and especially now that there's gonna be over 70 characters, it's gonna take all night. So I can't wait for that. That's gonna be a lot of fun. There's a new testing room. There's just so much to impact into this game. I can't even cover it all right now. It's just so much. We then also get the thing I've been waiting for, and the first thing my eyes went to, which is the main menu for Smash. I looked right at what the other game mode is, and it's crossed out. It's crossed out, guys, and it's like blurred out, and my mind is going crazy. I'm thinking, that is the story mode we've been waiting for. You see the section on the side with the icons? One of the icons is crossed out as well. There's something big. That's a big game mode, because look, Smash is a huge block. Games of More is a decent-sized block. Online is even a big block. What is that big green block and I'm so nervous I'm like it cannot be smash tour it cannot just be a smash run this is something big this is something big because it is a huge slot and it looks like it's a big part of this whole game and the fact that they can't even reveal it yet it's clearly not smash run coming back or smash tour it's not nothing coming back it's something big something grand something new and man oh man oh man did Sakurai tease the heck out of me I grew a big smile when I saw that was crossed out because I have a big gut feeling that is that is not necessarily subspace but the story mode that we've been wanting for a while now and uh yeah but we'll talk more about that later and kind of discuss what that is but we get another uh character trailer at the very end and we hear like the screen shaking and right as the screen started shaking I knew right away it was a big boy and it was none other than King K. Rule. we see the trailer of Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong looking out the window and King DDD just completely fooling the heck out of us and Donkey Kong, but I knew any second King K. Rool was going to come smack this sucker, and he did. He just cracks him across the face, dude, and it was so cool to see King K. Rool stand there with his cape blowing and stuff, and man, he looks like a big heavyweight that is really uh, diverse, uh, diversified, dude. I mean, he could throw his crown just like in Country 1. He could shoot his cannons and suck people up with that gun in Country 2. He's got his propeller jetpack from Country 3. He has his boxing gloves from the 64. He is a very well-rounded character and represents his series really well. And I love the fact that they did that. And, you know, he feels like his character. He's got a reflect with his stomach and everything. It just is so great. In his final smash, he gets into his tower um, and shoots his giant laser at uh, DK Island. Just like you do if you lose in Donkey Kong 64. Perfect reference. Perfect final smash. Sakurai Doug in his back. End of story. End of discussion. I thought Dixie Kong was going to pop up for the Echo Fighter right at the end where they're all like punching each other. Um, right beside Diddy. But I don't know. That was a weird choice not to have Dixie right there. I mean, that, that just felt right. But maybe there's a later time for that. And uh, I'm sure she'll come at a time as long with, along with Shadow from Sonic. But uh, at the end, this was a great, great video presentation. And Nintendo knocked it out of the park. I couldn't want anything else besides the story mode which probably will get revealed but not until later date i'm expecting another one around october another direct and uh for them to explain everything but let me know guys what you thought in the comments let me know what your most exciting moment was let me know what you're still waiting to see and let me know what you think about that uh missing icon and <sighs> it's gonna be a great story mode all right guys i'll see you later